Hi everybody, welcome to the next episode of Darkest Dungeon 2, where we are continuing, again, our attempt at doing the Grand Slam uh, Fatherless Child Beacon. <laughs> uh, so we're seeing how we can do here. We've still not gone past denial about losing one hero in the final boss fight. We've done it twice now, so this is our third attempt. Uh, I'm gonna keep running the leper for now. We may end up putting him on the bench eventually. We do have our Breacher Defiant Daredevil Leper. We have a Arsonist Runaway, um, so we're going to be using her for generating some combo, a little bit of additional healing. We have a Virtuoso Jester who is Defiant. I don't want to get rid of Curmudgeon, but hey. And we have a Warlock uh, Occultist. Kind of want to synergize healing here with... Um, with the... Uh, what's her name? Bonnie. I, I, I may switch to Ritualist. I'm not sure how I feel about it. The damage is nice, but I think the healing might be a better option. Plus, we gain the additional... You know what? I'm going to switch to Ritualist, and we're going to do this. I think we're just going to lean into healing as hard as we can. We're going to use the Pygmy Pliskin, and we're just going to hope that he can heal big chunks of health, um, and that's going to be probably the best thing. The damage is nice. We can still get the damage where we need it with a little bit of help on him, but right now, on Act 1, I don't think we need the back row damage as much as we did in the, as we're gonna need to in the next one. Um, Gaunt Hater, yeah, she killed her her adoptive parents on purpose, right? Um, oh yeah, look, there's some zero heal. Zero heals in the chat. Maybe go for a trophy would help. It definitely could be. If, we, if we're in good condition, we should probably try to get a trophy, right? Um, it wouldn't be a bad option. So we'll see. All right, let's go for it. Uh, this is called the Butcher's Circus. We'll see how it does. We won't be able to get bumper crop. It's impossible to get bumper crop on Act 1. Andrex, how's it going? Welcome on in. Thank you for the good luck, have fun. Onward. And let us hope enough yet to remain. About man arms the yelling world. at you all the time. I've never played Butcher Circus, so I don't know any of the hero's abilities in Butcher Circus. You can feel it. Bumper crop, more A like bumper crap. Now bumper crop's still really solid. I don't I don't think the change to it really did anything besides just still make it very very see, good even your valley is just want a crazy run with the duelist the what was your team what uh what actually running so there's defiant already doing defiant things we got some nice healing there the i'm not quite sure how i guess leper has very low health for whatever reason right it's because he's tempest i was like how are they healing the same amount but that does make sense so um it's a circus indeed full of clowns yeah I'm not quite sure why they named this Butcher Circus, especially considering the fact Runaway is like on this team, but hey, you know, whatever. Um, all right, let's go ahead and do this. We'll spread the fire. The fiend's strength dwindles. Working on your Grand Slam right now, Captain. Nice. What team are you uh, trying to run? Ugh, ads. How dare they? Uh, unfortunately, these guys moved away, but that's fine. This is where Hugh comes into play. I was trying to save that combo to let my leper just wail into him, but that's fine. This is okay. God, Defiant is already doing good stuff for us. We definitely want to try to lock that in as, as early as possible if we if we think we can. Uh, he's already blind. Um, might as well just heal, huh? Fortunately, accuracy is a myth. In this game, accuracy is absolutely a myth, right? So. Got the DLC just now, so I'm playing the two new heroes. Uh, Ravager Hellion, Debuff Duelist, Seraph Estal, and the Wanderer Crusader. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, Hellion, Duelist. Yeah, Duelist is a lot of fun. I, I, I'm glad you're giving her some uh, some tries, because she's a, she's a really good time. Got Double Defiant. This is a really lucky roll for us. Like, if we can keep this... Defiant is likely to probably be rolled on him at some point, right? Like, it, we might want to even just, like, get rid of Daredevil so he can keep a slot open so Defiant stays on. I'd rather have Defiant than Daredevil. Daredevil's okay, but it does give us vulnerable, you know? Um, being hit through blind and dodge. Yeah, it's pretty classic. It's pretty, it's pretty on, you know, on par with how this game works. Oh, it starts her in her aggro stance. Yeah, that definitely helps out a lot. Her two, the two trinkets that start her in stances are really potent for her. It just, it just makes her go so much quicker. 
Um, I'm fine with him getting additional health. Yeah. That's going to help his Defiant, and it's also just going to... I don't like his crit chance. There's I don't care so as much, much about. He's doing so much sword. damage in general that I don't need him critting. It's nice when I do get a 41 crit, but like, yeah, it's a little bit of a, it's fine. I'd rather get crits than some of the other heroes. Set uh, value, per it's a uh, percentage, I believe. Once again. Yeah, it's 5%. It's, it's uh, a lot of things change to uh, set values, but Defiant didn't, it is a percent. All right, uh, Inspiring Tune. Uh, weird reconstruction. We want heals early. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade Chop because it's gonna be our primary damage dealer. I think Smokescreen is gonna be good to upgrade. And then Ransack definitely has some value for us, I think. Firefly also. I mean, these are all good things to be upgrading on her, but I think we're gonna upgrade Ransack just so we have some good backline damage options of her. Is the Jinx a rare find at the crossroads? It definitely is, yes. It's a rare find in general. If you can get that, um, you should take it. If it's on a good hero to have it on, I guess. We got once a stream of a powerful team. Well, we're doing uh, Grand Slam uh, beacon runs, so we kind of need to uh, stack the odds in our favor. All right. Let's go ahead and slam the beacon on before I get too far. Before I forget. All right, beacon is on. I'm going to go with the Pliskin. I'm not even going to try anything else right now. This is where we have uh, a pretty interesting option, though. Do we want the Greater Cleansing Sensor? Um, it's a really good find right now. I'm going to take it. I would go for the Medical Gear to make Pliskin more valuable right off the cuff. But I think this in general is going to be better. We can we can find more Medical Gear. We'll prioritize going to a hospital or something, right? But this is this gives us a huge bit of uh, debuff resist, which is nice. The next stop is leagues away. Plan yeah, Dragonfly is really good on Runaway. Have the Jinx from the get-go. That's really good. That's that's amazingly solid. If you can get a whole team with the Jinx on it, you're going to be just decimating things. Um, you can beat Act 2 a Backdraft. You can, technically. I wouldn't really want to try it on Bastard's Beacon, though. Uh, what does Grand Slam mean? It means doing, yeah, beat all five Act bosses with the same heroes with none of them dying. And we're doing it with the Beacon, so we, we have to have that equipped every time as well. All right, food... Um, there is a skull tea. Is there anything we absolutely need to get rid of? Yes, this. We get rid of curmudgeon. No! I totally didn't think about that! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, guys. That's, uh, that's a misplay. Oh, well. All right. Well, goodbye to Pyan. Uh, wow. That's hilarious. Pate, uh, yes, you are. Thank you for the head pass. Thank you. Oof, that's, that's a huge ouch. Um, big ouchie. Uh, KFC Fry Cook, sure. Whoop. Yeah. Oop. Big oop. All right. This is why you don't rush things, guys. You don't just go, yep, 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 yep. I should have I should have thought about that. I just instantly did it. I was like, ooh, I want to get rid of that. Oh, well. Uh, okay, where are we going? Um, Avoid the hoarder to get Busker's Hall. Do we care about Busker's Hall? No. Obviously, don't care about candles. Trade route guarantees us a hoarder. This lowers our flame. It's probably really not something. We get a guaranteed creature den and a guaranteed hoarder. This is probably the better option for us, if I'm entirely honest. Um, so let's go for it. Our great cities burn. I uh, I used. Uh, Are you going lair? Probably not. We don't need the lair for. We we may do lairs, but we don't need it for Act One. Um, we uh we used that skull T on our jester and didn't really think about the consequences and it rolled off defiant Behold, the so super awesome of man. Ruined what's better uh, a, a cache or a creature dead I'm gonna say a cache and the reason I'm gonna say cache is because um, 
it has a decent likelihood of giving us a sprawl trinket, which could be a really good way for us to get something on Frycook here. Um, yeah, I, I just misplayed badly right there. That may cost us the run. I was super excited to have double Defiant on this team, but hey, it is what it is. We just have to lean into other healing options, so. Uh, no, it's there, Janker. I left this One sec. For you. Sorry. Perhaps you left it for yourself. There we go, Tinderbox. Perhaps That's pretty good for us. Not here at all. There you go. Yeah, good loot, good food. Overall, pretty good find there. Um, Tinderbox doesn't do anything for us quite yet, though. Um, so I'm not going to equip it uh, because it doesn't do anything for us right now. So until we get a flammable item, it actually just hurts us. A little overdose. That's not really what I meant by that. Goss. Uh, you're flammable. Flammable because you're so hot. Yeah. Opportunists. Uh, I mean, at least we still got some Defiant. That's fine. It's good, right? Right? Right, guys? Uh, okay. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Mm. Thank you, love. BQ damage, yeah. I probably d should have used chop and just gotten a kill, but with all that dot damage on them, this just lines them up for dying pretty, pretty quick here. So we'll see. We'll see how that pans out for us, or if it doesn't. You know, you know how it is. Um, I'm gonna hope for the blind. Oh, okay, the vulnerable panned out for us there. A promising development. Yeah, it ends up with doing up the flint strike there, which is great for us. So, oh wait, front mortar here. Stumbling okay. and the stun is whatever. Um. Almost dead. Hopefully misses. Good miss. All right, now we can do the pull because even if it doesn't die, it's just gonna put him in a bad position. And yeah, now we're gonna spot. We get the kill. Yeah, we get the kill. We'll heal with the on the bleed. There we go. Nice 15 crit heal there. Love that for us. We definitely want to try to get healing items if we can. The past is gone. Let it die. We'll see. God, I can't believe we rolled Defiant off. Guys, you got to take time when you're doing these kinds of runs. I will say it definitely is a lot harder to think about stuff when you're also talking to chat. But that was just that was just a bad, bad play on my part. I'm usually pretty good about checking when I use Skull T, but I was just like, I don't want Curmudgeon. Get rid of this shit. Oh, yeah. No, no, it is your fault. Absolutely. Everything is Twitch chat's fault. Trust me, when I play offline, I do amazing. Uh, his low dot resist do make him a little bit vulnerable to stuff, but not much we can do about that. I'm going to just go ahead and... Um... Who do we encore here? I think let's encore Bonnie and see how this goes. The real Defiant were the friends we didn't make along the way. The friends that died along the way. Yeah. Um, he just can't show us, but he swears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I do. Thank you. Good, good point. I appreciate that, Goss. I do. I never, I never updated that. 
All right, so we have uh, he's a ritualist. Then we have virtuoso. Then we have arsonist and tempest. All right, thank you. Look at all that combo. Good resist, Leper. I don't know what disease that was gonna be, but I'm glad that you do not have it. Hmm. Oh, this is unfortunate. Oh, okay. Not if you hit through the dodge. The fire, right? I love when they, I mean, it's still annoying when a gaunt gets this, but at least it doesn't ignite them. So it's like, can you imagine if they could be ignited? Like, um, excuse me. There's Daredevil giving us a little bit of free stress heal there. Yeah, there's ignition. It's gonna go ahead and just heal him up too. Annoying. Ignited gaunts, ugh, yeah, I know. So I probably could have played that a little differently to kind of guarantee the um, the death there instead of taking that hit, but alas, here we are. So let's get that one dead. I say that she could do funeral pyre and heal them all. Um, I don't. I don't know. Can she do funeral pyre on a funeral on a uh, corpse that isn't right next to her? Does the corpse have to be next to her? I don't. I, these are questions I don't have the answers to. Worms could be ignited and get unique buffs from the drummer. The, the funny thing is the worms do have unique buffs from the Kyrogen, right? Which I didn't know was a thing. Because it's like that, the worms like never spawn in that fight outside of one circumstance. So when I saw that that was a thing, I was like, what? Like the fact that they thought about that is hilarious to me. Um, Just go for the kill. I almost misclicked there. Jeez. A simple solution. All right. How is this not? Uh, well, that's fine. Whatever. That's still a good item for her to get. Um. It's not a flammable item, though. I was kind of hoping it would be. This so this gives us additional two duration, which is which is nice. That's a lot of extra damage, right? Um, if we can get a flammable item, which we should be able to at every end, you can get a flammable item. You can get the um, the glimmers, which are considered flammable now. So I'm not really that big of an issue. It's just, you know, and in this region is probably we don't really need it that much. Nice on the big dudes, it, the buttressing band. Yeah, buttressing band is nice. I just don't want to put it on the leper because he's just very likely to miss and I really don't need him generating more vulnerable. The only reason worms have those buffs is because of corpse light. Yeah, it's just funny that they thought about it. That they were like, "Oh man, in this in this circumstance, this could happen. We should we should put on a very powerful buff for the worms specifically in case you're running corpse light against Kyrogen." It's just, just hilarious. It's a Leroy Jenkins uh, meme there. Just hilarious. Kinda. It's not real. I guess you could say it doesn't say Leroy, but I always read it as him charging in and being like, "Fuck, guys, <laughs> you did it." The extra two der button of butt. Good versus big to god. It would be great if it was uh, great versus big butts. That'd be hilarious. And true. Yeah, butt spot does the same thing. Had the worms idea? Uh, yeah, Sammy did, yeah. I'm just glad that they actually threw it in there. Like, they actually thought about it. Mobilize there is a little iffy for us, but nothing we can't handle. Just go for the hit. An opportunity. Squander. Yeah, so he, the reason that he's still not ignoring, like, he will never resist his initial blind if it procs, but he can resist the blinds after that. That's kind of where he, how he operates. 
Leroy Jenkins. I'll throw it here because this will spread the burn to uh, the Widow. Those spread ones are kind of annoying because you can't tell where they're going to go unless you throw them on the ones on the edge. Then you know that it's going to hit those two. So we have a strike token. Let's just take advantage of it. Miss. Good miss. Thank you. Uh, this is going to throw... This would throw a cultist up to rank two, and I definitely don't want that. So let's... Uh... Two damage. You know, let's just see if we can get some damage here. Yeah. The four would have been enough, unfortunately. We didn't get it. Cooperation is going the first. The Immolatus is going first. She should be dead. And then the Widow. The Widow is dead. I'm just going to do the damage here. Okay, Immolatus is dead. Widow is dead. And then there was one. Uh, so we could go for the kill, or we could go for healing here. Um, nobody's bleed is like crazy high though, so I think we're just gonna go for the kill. There we go. I mean, this stops the bleed from proccing, so. Hello, all right. Snappy Swig. Fantastic, good find for us here. Um, so I, this is actually fine for us because he's going to be generating crit tokens. I don't really care about him having lowered base crit value. He's 50% of the time he's going to have a crit token. So that doesn't affect his, it's not affected by his crit value. And it always makes you pick her, Ravager, or Carcass. Hellion's really strong. I, I really enjoy Leper. I mean, one of the reasons we're really running him this much though is because of this, this combination of, of quirks he has. I mean, he's just goaded right now. Breacher is just so good on him. Um, we are getting very lucky with these uh, trinkets, though. We're getting a very good, very good set of trinkets here. Two people want to leave. Um, let's take a look at what we've got coming up here. So this is a an issue of do we want to focus on relationships? 16 relics is a big hit for us, but it, we do have 80, 82 relics available. Um, this affects two relationships. It affects hers and affects his. So it puts them to unfriendly. Hmm. Yeah, I know. It's it's one of those things we kind of have. We have to balance relationships, right? We should be okay. We have a songbook. We have 82 relics. I think we'll be able to fix any issues we have with relationships. Let's take a fight. You never know what we're going to get. Uh, we could get some good items out of this. A pit fighter, shaman is not a combination I really care to see here, but alas, Empowered. here we are. Emboldened. Giving him the dodge here, just hoping that might help us out. And then I'm going to go ahead and equi march here. I need to remove the shaman pretty quickly. Um, go ahead and smoke screen the big guy. Hopefully the blind sticks. It does not. The vulnerable's good though. Uh, well, we'll be able to get a flammable item from the end no matter what. The glimmer, the glimmer of hope will always spawn there. Good dodge. Um, and so that'll, that'll be good for us. Uh, go ahead and pull here. This puts the, uh, the pit fighter in a. I mean, he I guess he's not out of position. He's never really out of position, is he? But, um, god damn. I was like, oh, is he ordained? Yeah, no. No shit, Sherlock, he's ordained. <laughs> Is he ordained? You play this game or what? Can we not focus down the runaway, please? I, I'd really appreciate that. Yeah, this guarantees a burn spread to somebody, Early assuming results. they don't resist it, Early which I don't think it even tried to proc, which is interesting. Days at round end doesn't really affect us. That's fine. Yeah, ordained ordainment on this guy is definitely not something we like to see. This guy can quickly turn fights in a, into a bad time. Let's get rid of the shaman now. 
is a lesson learned. Like just like already we're at six burn there on him alone. So he's doing three burn a hit. Okay, we got the blind. Hopefully this. Hopefully it procs. Okay, guaranteed crit here. Let's get the heal. There we go. Forty-eight. I'll take it. Slow suffering begins. Yeah, leaving this guy till last is definitely because he gets faster and does more damage as he goes. It's definitely like a. What's up, man? How's it going? Welcome on in. All right. Hmm. We came out of that relatively fine. Cut down these nightmares. Bit of a scary fight, but nothing crazy. Redemption. Sure. I have 50% blight resist. We're probably gonna need to drop that trinket, honestly. It doesn't really do anything for us in, on Act 1. Alright, so middle here is double loathing. We have 61. Okay, honestly, I think Hoarder is a good option for us at this point. I'm not taking on the lair, especially a double fight lair. We're gonna have an additional fight anyway. Hoarder, with the amount of money that we have right now, could be really strong for us. Okay, we do have a combat coming up. We haven't grabbed many combat items, so I'm definitely a little worried about that, but we'll be fine. Oh, I've only done Act 1, and we're, we're doing them in order. I, I know what Act 4 does. I know how BS it is, but of an invading army um, right now we're still on Act 1, so this, dying land. this is our third try on doing Act 1. We've lost a hero every time Any being, on the final fight. Horrid, can be brought to heal. All right. Uh... So the crit here is nice, except the fact that it doesn't really do anything for us. Like, we could crit one of these. It's just going to end up bleeding us. Um, I'm going to pass on that. So, so I'm trying to kill everybody then. Valid, valid point. I, I really should stop, huh? Uh, This is probably a good time for a heal. Let's just knock it out, huh? Yeah, natural crit. Beacon is is tough to say the least. There we go. Incremental. Thankfully, Leper can just kind of like eradicate the barricades pretty effectively, which is nice. Oh, good natural crit. Love that for you, bud. Thankfully, Ritualist Occultist is is kind of cracked, so I'm gonna, I'm good with that. Um, I can't move him. This won't do anything. I'm just gonna let Leper do his work, and we'll just heal off this bleed here. A calculated generosity. What a welcome. Region one because of the cannon that gave me three stress and one. Oh yeah, can, can, getting a cannon on uh, the beacon would be brutal. I really hope we don't run into one anytime soon. That's a good kill for us, though. I will take that. And then I'm just going to bounce here. Get the stress heal from... We've gotten really, really good start here with Snappy Swig and stuff. This is, a, this is a pretty good start for us, so hopefully we can keep this up. The natural crits of these guys do, though. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, eh, not, none of this will do anything, right? So I'm just going to go for the heal. This wound, at least, has been tended to. Uh, this will do something. So it'll clear the corpse, which will move, which will force the guard off. And then we can get the kill. Or at least do enough damage to really put this guy in a scary place. And then... Can't encore anybody. Eh. So take a bleed, but then we'll just dragonfly and it'll be all right. As much as this throws a cultist in a weird spot. Dragonfly will be helpful and then uh, um, Yeah, take a crit vulnerability hex. Yeah, I haven't done like um Leviathan or anything yet, so I'll be interested to see how all those are uh, on the beacon. In the extreme. 
All right. Work uh, noisemaker is fine. We can put this on our Necessary. quickest person. And then this is also fine. Put that next. Putting on the quickest person because that gives us the option to kind of determine where the taunt goes before enemies go. I mean, as much as we can with all ordained enemies with plus two speed. But hey, you know, we do our best here. Honestly, not too bad, especially since, in fact, we're running an arsonist runaway. We've done well he struggled to, decide uh, to not have this go terrible. Holding back fits oh, but not get two meltdowns. So we'll have to see. Tears. I'm sure eventually we'll take him on. All right, so things that we want here. We're going to want medical gear as a priority, unless there's an amazing trinket that's even better, right? We do have knitted blanket, which is nice. Um, it's plus two burn dealt. Oh, man, this could be really strong with her. Plus two burn dealt, plus two burn duration is very strong. The downside being that we lose out on getting, like, medical gear, which, you know, will help us with our heals, but this helps us with our damage. I think that the knitted blanket is probably the best thing we could get here. She, Yeah, she'll be kicking ass. Um, bam. And now we get our flammable item, which is this. So um, these are just nice to have, but we'll go ahead and throw this on. This is a flammable item. So now she is dealing plus two burn for plus two duration. That's a lot of additional damage that she's pumping out. I'm pretty happy with that. Unfortunately, we lose out on anything else there, but that's fine. We do have a lot of money. We're not going to need the burn salve. I'm going to take the clarifying poultice that's going to be useful for us. Uh, so is the restorative herbs. These are going to be things that are useful for us. Um, I guess, do we want tinderbox or do we want... This increases her piercing, but she already has plus 33% piercing, so... I think this is a better combination than this, right? Because, pl I mean, plus 66% piercing is nice, but outside of the sprawl, she's already just, like, pretty much guaranteed to land the burn. And this is a guaranteed additional damage, whereas this is maybe some additional damage if the additional burn procs. Which would be a three burn because of knitted blanket, so she could burn, like, a lot. But... It's only a 33% chance. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think this is the better option. I, th I think either are good options, let's just say that, but I think right now what we've got is good. I'm gonna take triage kit, and you know what? I'm gonna take invigorating toxicants. I don't normally play these, but we, we're very likely to hit death's door in some later fights, and I think having them will be useful for us. Good job, order. Whispers. All right, we've got a road thing coming up, which is fine. Let's go ahead and throw a triage kit on. As much as I don't want to, like, use these items that much, I do also need to use them. Backdraft deal with those two trinkets a, f a fair amount. With upgraded backdraft, it would deal quite a lot. It may be something we want to consider using, as much as I don't normally consider using it. Um, and now, if we were running Act 2, this would be almost the perfect combination for us to have her dealing that damage to the back lung. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, honestly, after after that, I'm feeling I'm feeling kind of stress free. I think uh, our runaway is now in a very potent position. OK, so our torchlight is low. But two food for five torch is pretty nice. That's going to save us spending money on food. I'm going to take the food. We've got one. We've got two more fights. We're not going to get an ambush. This was a good roll. I'm good with this. Yes, this does increase enemy battle advantage chance. That was probably likely to happen regardless. Ooh, okay. So, again, we, we need to be cautious on these fights because there is a likelihood, a, a fair enough likelihood that this is a warlord. No mold? Impossible. I know. I, I modified all the game files. Okay, it's not a warlord. This is, a, this is fine for us, though, because it is additional combat items, which is good. As long as these guys don't just naturally crit left and right. I, I really shouldn't have said anything, huh? Okay, so that's seven turns of four burn with unupgraded dragonfly. <laughs> that's good. That's very good. But uh, we're on Act 1. If you ever need to see what act I'm on, it's always right here next to my face. 
First time we moved to Road 5 of Warlord, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty... We had that happen on one of our runs already. One of our attempts. Uh, we ran into Warlord first thing. Ah, damn. He doesn't even have a combo token on him. Just stop naturally critting him, please. Please, video game. There's a chance we kill the thing here. If not, it's likely to die from the burn. There we go. So we're able to get some damage into him anyway. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and heal the stress here. Yeah, and the pass are on the other side, yeah. I just do that because it's... Uh, I don't mind answering the question, by the way. I'm not trying to be like, oh, how do you ask that question? But it's, it's just the most common question I get, right? So try to display as much information as I can so people can be like, oh, I see, I see. Yes, yes, excellent. A brilliant conclusion. God, so close. Honestly, this is all fine now. Get the kill here. Comp's looking good though. Yeah, it's looking we're we're doing alright here. This this may be the team, I don't know, but it might. That will pull the guard off him. I don't know, just heal with the we have that bleed, we might as well take advantage of the heal. This guy's dead anyway, so let's Solemnity off this stress. And the guard is back, so... What's the best option here? What, what can we get the most value out of? Nothing. There's nothing that gets us any real value here, so I'm just gonna move. I don't think we could have we couldn't have encored into a stress here. I guess I could have encored into would solemnity be on cooldown? It probably would have been on cooldown, right? So I wouldn't have been able to solemnity, so yeah. But yeah, that does give us I mean fishermen's nets aren't like amazing, but they, they are a decent option. Yeah, we'll keep that. Work on the Act 3 boss scene token thingies. Uh no. It does not. Only works on uh, negative tokens, not special tokens. So if you open up the glossary, um, only works on tokens that are the regular blue color. It does not work on these special tokens. Anything from here down, it does not work on. Um, same thing for indiscriminate science. So if you're using indiscriminate science on the Plague Doctor, that's why like hunger, hunger can be removed by... Um, Holy Water and by Indiscriminate Science, because it's considered a regular debuff, it's not considered a special token. And if I die, I'm uninstalling. Oof. Sneaky on Audrey is very good. Right. This crate will mean it guarantees the landing, that's great. The reason I'm doing this is because Harold in the back row is fucking terrifying, I hate him. I say terrifying, he's just really annoying. Plus, having this on him just keeps him constantly disrupted. Um, this is a weird comp. Normally, you don't see this. Normally, you'd see, like, two evangelists. Having one of each is a... is a, It's not the most common comp that you see. Hey, Carrie, how's it going? We're going to be getting a good amount of bleed on this, so we'll just use it to our advantage. Uh, I'm just going to go for the big hit here and get rid of the altar so we don't have to deal with the stealth. First horror of the run. We do have upgraded um, inspiring tune though, so I'm not super worried about it. Uh, again, just gonna go ahead and do this. We'll pull him. It's probably we'll miss. Yeah, it's fine. Struggling the beacon. I mean, we're definitely not having the best time of it, but we're. This is this team's looking up pretty well. We've been able to get to the final fight very consistently. We've, twice now we've gone to the final fight, no issues. It's just um, surviving the final fight without a hero dying that's been the issue. Those locks are brutal, man. Got deadly in a grave robber. Deadly grave robber is nice. Uh, she can end up with like, what, 90, 95% crit if you're lucky. I think you can probably get her to 100% crit if you're really smart about it. I don't know. Maybe with like a memory and stuff, you could probably do it. There's probably a way. Yeah, once we get our burn skills upgraded, like, she's just kicking butt right now. A master stroke. Death bow on the first check both times. Yeah, he he didn't do well. 
<laughs> we we did have bad luck. That's why I'm grabbed these these invigorating intoxicants. I'm really glad they got rid of the um the debuff that Final Fights used to have, the minus 20% death blow check that they used to have on every time you went to the act boss, because that was just BS. The past is gone. Tank Audrey, I want to it try die. it. It's definitely possible. Hello. Snap judgment right off the bat. Okay. Snap judgment with a dark impulse. Who does this go on? Normally I throw it on Jester, but we already have Snappy Swig on Jester, so the question is like who who benefits the most from it? Nobody else has the speed that we need. We'll, we'll let's get to the end and we can kind of figure it out. We might be able to artificially increase somebody's uh, speed to get use out of it. Um, so we'll, we'll take a look. Oh, nice little crit heal there. How are we doing on baubles? Do we have we have twelve baubles? Unfortunately, we spent all our bubbles, so we're not going to be able to fully upgrade our stagecoach unless we get the uh, the thieves one, or the um, there's two stagecoach or two two ends that lower the prices. There's one that's like stagecoach themed. The fire is lit. The table is greedy, set. selfish, void side. So of course we get guests. we got rid of curmudgeon and lost defiant just to get selfish. Void Sight will have removed Defiant, I think. There we go. All right, we no longer have a Defiant anybody. Oh, that's rough. All right. The Immortal Leper is gone. Man, Quirks roll so fast in this game. It's wild how fast Quirks roll. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the Provisioner. This is what I'm looking for, stimulating what poultices, but pushed. we need to focus on relationships right now. Most of them are fairly good. The issue is going to be selfish, right? Everybody... Yeah, oof. Do we have a way to get rid of selfish? No, we have no meditative totems. So we're very likely to get negative relationships unless we can force the relationships positive, which is going to be tough. Now, we can risk the songbook and see what happens. We might as well. We're going to eat the pig after this, so we're just going to be hopeful here that we get mostly positive interactions out of this, which we did. Okay. Let's eat the pig now. I think it gets a lot of our relationships in good spots. We have one here that's pretty negative. We have a couple that we can pop into a really good spot. We've got one friendly there. With a little bit of finagling, I think we can be okay here. We already have two whiskey, or three whiskey, so... Pate and Zen, let's get them out of the really bad spot. We have cards. I, d I don't fuck with cards. I've never had the cards be in my favor before. As goofy as that sounds, I just don't fuck with that shit. Uh, KFC and Defiant, let's do this. Okay, and then... Who else can we get up? Uh, KFC and Zen. Hoping for the best. I dual spin on 75, but uh, when I'm doing BB, she dies. easy. Yeah, BB with duelist, if you're relying too hard on the duelist, can be a bit rough. You definitely want to try to. Um, have somebody who can guard her when you need that that chance to come up. I'm really upset that we haven't found anything for the stagecoach yet. Kind of sucks, but my post night sworn identity crisis. Just force yourself to play Venom Drop until you like it. Are we done on food? We're good on food. Um, okay, I'm gonna grab these. On the road and to then I'm going to... We still have two whiskey, actually. We might be able to get Jester and a cult, uh, Jester and Leper out of this, which will at least mean that we have a lower chance. Like, these are all 5% chances, which, like, are possible, but we might as well get rid of the 15% chance. All right? I think that's worth the two. Something to ease the rigors of the road. Is that that's three times as likely to happen. Now it's, you know, now we only have a couple 5% chances. 
about interaction with Act 4 and Guard when... Yeah, yeah, I, I remember you talking about that. It's definitely an interesting... Uh, that fight's gonna be tough, no matter what we do. I miss old Night Sworn. Ah, uh, I mean... One you can miss it all you want, but it's not gonna change, I don't think, so... Um, okay, so here is my plan with this. We're gonna throw these off. We're gonna give him this. And then we're gonna give him a stimulating poultice. So now he has a nine speed, so he will generate positive tokens every turn. Um, okay. Again, I don't care about him losing crit chance because he is just going to generate crit tokens every time. It's hard, it's so hard, I know, it's rough. It's rough when you when you really like something and it, it goes away. Each improvement, a new variable in the um, of your fate. I'm gonna take traveling heal over the block. That may not be the right call. Deleting the dodge from phase two is just like that is extremely powerful. I have no idea how to get through four dodge per round about it, yeah. I don't know. I'm I don't really know what the answer to that fight is. Do my fourth time Grand Slam BB. Wish me luck. Good luck. Very much good luck. What team are you going to run for it? Um, all right, I'm going to upgrade Firefly because at this point we're really, really leaning into her fire damage. Um, and then we should upgrade Fade to Black for the additional combo generation. Um, ruin. Candle generation. Avoid the Everywhere. field hospital. Guarantees a field Indeed. hospital, which is great. Except it's probably going to be very early and we won't be able to buy a stagecoach item, so... Oh well. Skill issue, yeah, it's all skill issue. Nothing else, no no RNG issue. Uh, I mean, sometimes this game just kicks you in the butt. Lair time, no, we're probably not doing a lair for this. We don't need a lair for act one, and unless there's something that we desperately need to make this team operate, I don't really know if the risk is worth it. This team isn't great for it. We could throw Fry Cook in the, like, in the back and just kind of have her spam Firefly or something. Uh, I don't think it really works well in our favor. All right, what do we got? Memories of a Dream, Formless Sculpture. Um, hospital's up there, so we should probably try to take quite a few fights if we can, just to get our baubles up if we're lucky. Um, I don't think we need the Cultist fight. We've already got a good Cultist Trinket. So I say we just kind of go left, take the fights, and see how we go. I don't want to see that. A lot of health, a lot of health. See the debris ahead? That is where they'll make their move. No, we're not taking on the general. We do not have a team that can take the general on right now. If anything, this team is probably going to be best against the um, the baby or the Leviathan. Would be my would be my two calls. We have a lot of front rank damage. Um, Burn is is fairly good against the Leviathan. There's 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 options there, but um, yeah, we're not going to be seeing them for quite a little bit, I don't think. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do this. A breakthrough. Oh, he actually, wow, he actually resisted the, uh, the debuff with a crit. That's interesting. Benefit from the general's trophies. Uh, yeah, I don't think they really help us out that much. You know, I didn't upgrade Dragonfly. I upgraded Firefly because I kind of just, in my head for some reason, I thought we'd upgraded Dragonfly already. We're using Dragonfly more. I really should have gone with that, but oh well. Watch Sing Band coming in clutch for us there. This team can definitely kill him. I just don't think we need to take the risk. I don't think there's any like prerogative to do it. We get a decent we might get a decent trophy out of it. Yeah. Outside of that, I just don't think we're we're really gaining anything. Besides just gone. risking our team, Let I'd really... Yeah, no, we can definitely do it. Like, this team definitely has what it what would be. We can throw on Intimidate. We can we can hit that between Echoing March, Intimidate, and, um, like, Dragonfly or Firefly, and, of course, um, Occultus. We'd be able to hit the Taproot, like, every time. It would, really wouldn't be an issue as long as we we planned around it. I don't know. Wait, I don't think we have many throwables on this team, though, so that might be an issue, but...
Hearthlight also counts. Yes, Hearthlight also does. Um, quad Blind, very nice. I'm glad it proc'd on everybody. Um, let's go ahead and just pull the Herbalist if we can. Get them somewhat out of position. Do I have Break? I do, okay. I was like, I don't remember if I put that on or not. Lethality writ large. Turn. Yeah. Yo, desperate when I see rank 4 Arbalest in Tangle, by the way. Fuck that guy! That guy shucks! Yeah, he can be a bit annoying, to say the least. Put this guy in Death's Door and then he dies. Spread the burn here. Excellent. The dodge. He's already dead, so let's focus the damage there. Dead. The this guy's just gonna do Shambling Thrust, which really isn't that much of a risk. No debuffs, nothing else. I mean, I could probably hit this guy. I probably would have been the better play, honestly, but whatever. I'm just gonna blind him. Mm. They always resist the blind, but not the vulnerable. I always find that interesting. We can't heal here, so we'll just go ahead and... Eh, we sort of got a vulnerable, so we'll just go ahead and land a weakening. Let's try not to throw my occultist into rank 2. Really what this boils down to. Dodge it. Damn it. I mean, I'll take 8 versus 10, but this still could have been better. Tempest has Bloodthirsty. Uh, no, he does not. He has Daredevil. He did have Defiant. <laughs> we lost that, unfortunately. I don't think we have anything that really benefits from this, right? Yeah. Dodge is cosmetic. Feels like it some days, huh? Just check my combat items before I get too far here. I have them. I should be using them if I'm not already. Uh, I'm gonna throw the Invigorating Toxkin to the side. We want to save those for the final boss if we can. All right. Oh, no, we got any money. Got 20, 20 baubles there, not bad. We're going to be getting a fair amount more relics because we have Sage gear on now, so I'm not super worried about relics. Which is good because uh, hopefully we can get to the hospital and, you know, at least get something or remove something or whatever. I don't know. Whatever we want to do when we get to the hospital. And so they must fall. Oh, big crack. All right, Knight and Arbalest. A little risky, but no drummers, so I don't have to worry about volleys or anything like that. Um... So I could have kept the uh, the foot soldier in rank four to do shambling thrust, but I'd rather just put the knight in a position where he's really not going to do anything. It's a good option for Q here. The double double combo allowing us to hit through dead, almost dead, not quite though. Um, nobody can ignore the repost or remove the repost, but I'd rather not get hit by it if I can avoid it. So I'm just going to go ahead and this over here. Yo, spring break. Very nice. How's it going, Biggles? Sounds like a good time. Lethality writ large. Nice crit. All 
right. Uh, let's go ahead and break. This, excellent. Go ahead and move him. Finish grading this two-inch stack of last-minute tests and homework. It'll be awesome. Oh my god, that sounds brutal. I'm sorry. Uh, he's gonna get hit by the repost, but yeah, really don't want him to. I guess rather him than yeah. It's fine. We can Elemental. we can heal that off. Let's see if we're all the same. Good thing these kids are likable. Good thing, huh? Okay, now he's even more deadly now. And he has plus five speed, so he's likely to go pretty early, but looks like we're able to outpace him, which is good. A brilliant conclusion. If the dot lands, he dies. It does. Alright. I think that was that was played well. I think Greater we uh we did that pretty strategically. Greater protectorate. Oh man. I'm taking it. Um, I don't. I mean, Snap Judgment's very nice, but Greater. I mean, Greater Protector it gives him some crazy heal potential. So I could survive five checks. Those are glorious times. Yeah, back when DBR was still a thing. But the myth never lasted for them. Only, only for us. Okay, so we're already stripped of armor, which means that we're very likely to run into something that's going to cause us problems. Um, thankfully, we do have a watchtower, so at least we know if it's coming, or we can avoid it best we can. All right. Cash. Cash could give us a trinket, maybe. I don't think it's really going to be anything too beneficial. Right now, I'm kind of inclined to take fights if I can take them. Um... I need to be using these items. So let's see. If we go up this way and then up here, that'll take us through the hospital. It'll give us two loathing. Well, one, if we take this fight. And then we end up through the lair, which is fine. I think I'm okay with this. Yeah, we're going to go up and then straight up from there. Although we have a choice going up here, but you know what I mean. Execution 3. I wouldn't expect that from her. And they wanted to keep the identity of Glint in the Dark being a, a move that kills. An assassination move, right? Sculpture is really butt. <laughs> apologize. It's not going to apologize. It's just laughing. Shelves, laden with echoes of indistinct ideas. Um, I take the combat out of that. The quirks could be whatever, but the otherworldly fragments are going to be a good find for us for sure. An elementary problem. Alright, so we take the assistance encounter. Not. See what this fight is. Um, I don't see a barricade, which would be the only one I'm super worried about. No, okay. So, not going to be a mini boss or anything, which is good. Only consists of one hero in four positions. What would be the easiest comp and what would be the hardest? I mean, I think the hardest would be Leper, right? I think he would be the... Um, he does have to fight in his pool. It'd be crazy if we rolled it again, but I don't like risking that. Um, also, hey, Ulysses, how's it going? Uh, I think Leper would be the hardest, right? I think you basically lose out on him being in the back two ranks at all, and you can't move him. As far as the easiest, the strongest... Highwaymen, probably. Um, highwaymen or Jester. Crusader could be a good option, yeah. I think a Highwaymen would probably be a bit stronger, but... Yeah, four Crusaders are unkillable, you're right. They are they are basically immortal, which is... You're not wrong. Malaise. Measured and steady. Man can't heal. Yeah, that's true. It also just kills everything before it does anything. A master stroke. But yeah, 
no, I think, I think, yeah, I, I think about a Crusader is probably the strongest, you're right. Healing, stress healing, damage, back rank damage, front rank, yeah, probably Crusader. Yeah, what Fate said. Never ending Lance. Berryman, how's it going? Welcome on in. Hey, hey. Berries and cream, berries and cream, all little ladder of berries. And cream. Four Vestals, yes. Orson, I think that would that would win. Never ending never ending consecrations. Good job, Buttspot. These seasoned soldiers were deployed to a winding front. Team shape. Eh, I don't think we're... I'm not going to take Blair. I'm just... I'm going to say that now. We're going to go into a take one fight and then leave, unless we really need the money. We we don't really get anything from it. Said so even if we get a trophy or something, like, we're already in very good condition. We don't really need the mastery. I mean, the mastery points would be the only thing I'd be like, yeah, that's what we want. A hospital. There's just there's just no reason to take the lair fight with this right now. Maybe squishy. Four cultists would be funny, I think. I don't think it'd be great, but it'd be funny. What's the team order here? This one's going first, then that one. It's unlikely that we're gonna be able to stop a front mortar. Well, we're not going to be able to stop a front mortar. If they were going... No, we're just not going to be able to, right? We pull this one, that one does front mortar. We pull this one, this one does front mortar. So, either way, we're doing front mortar. It is what it is. It's just like, like, some damage in the back here. Hey, Toaster Guy, how's it going? the taunt that's that's why we know front mortars happening at least sturdy enemies sturdy ordained enemy is just a lot of health in the pool here good miss uh we are blind so so for the best an opportunity Getting the worst squandered Job's awesome. Having a date next week with a beautiful woman. I'm very blessed. Hey, I'm glad to hear things are going well for you, bud. I hope uh, the date goes well. Oh, yeah. Four, yeah, flags would be... Yeah, if we had multiple flags, that'd be hilarious. Also, absolutely terrifying, because you would be fighting death like every opportunity she could pop up. But it'd be funny... This team has done some good work on me. This community, I'm glad to hear that, Toaster. Always welcome here. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Even though I am here and I'm a big dumb dummy. But at least I can murder things effectively, kind of, maybe. All right, let's go ahead and heal here. This wound at least has been tended to. Ow! Death trinkets, am I right? One day I'll make a death trinket actually work for us. This may be a waste of a triage kit, but really Another having... I need the health right now. Cleared with impunity. I can't risk just having super low health and running around. Okay, again, I don't need minor wolf's blood. Can you... Can we get that out of my... I guess I could pick it up to get it out of the pool, but... You know, I don't really need this either. Um...
be kind of funny if you had four flags with four death's head trinkets. Like, you get more than that, I guess. You can double up on a lot of them. And just watch them all, like, do crazy shit as every time one of them hits death's door. Cooldown reduction, I've never tried it. You can. It is possible to get three consecrations. Um, but it's very difficult to pull off. Uh, minus 15 torch, two stress. Ugh, relationships, man. Relationships. This would put them back on the tick. I think this is probably worth the, the torch, honestly. Yo, what's up, Pet DePaul? Welcome on in. Yeah. Faye, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Good to have you. If you hope to heal, you have yeah, with like again, wisely. um, you can you can do it. It's, it's just not. Is it worth it? Yeah. You also have to have Seraph. Um, it has to be on the Seraph path because you need the five turn cooldown. The five turn, like, like it lasting five turns kind of deal. All right. Hospital. We have some money. Let's see what we can do here. We need not be defined by our shortcomings. Okay. We grab the bottle case. This gives us additional healing. Worth. Um, I'm also going to grab more of these restorative herbs because increasing the healing received is going to be good. How many of these do we have right now? One, two, three, four. We've got four. So this increases everybody's healing received by 20%, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice, I would say. I think we're good here. Not worth it. It'd be funny, though. It's definitely doable, yeah. Chaplain, but I don't even know what the Confessor path does for Vestal. It's um, kind of like a disruption path. It's a lot of, like, debuffs. Um, it gives enemies weakness and vulnerable. Um, it peels... Uh, it can peel off tokens with um, illumination and stuff. Like, peel positive tokens. It's more about, like, disrupting the enemy and giving them a lot of debuffs that they don't have to deal with. For beating all wandering bosses in a run is called ninth grade math mathematics. Yeah. Replace the old one. No, you can, Enderex. We've we've done it before. You can have three consecrations. It's just only doable in like a certain circumstance. Unless they patched it out in like the last couple weeks, but I don't think they have. They may have. I don't know. I don't know everything that goes on with this game anymore. <laughs> Alright, um... It used to be possible specifically with uh, Undertow on Leviathan fights. Uh, it used to duplicate the Consecration, and you could end up... If you were really smart about it, you could end up with four Consecrations. It was kind of goofy. It, like, would, if you Undertowed somebody with a Consecration, and then they came back up, and you would cast a Consecration on somebody else... It would duplicate the consecration because it would bring them back up with the consecration. Um, two years ago, and what? But maybe you can You can now. Yeah, you you can. It's doable with uh, duelist and stuff. It's just again, it's just very very tough to do. It's it's not worth putting the effort in to do it. It's really what it boils down to. So we have to, of course, we have to take this fight. That's how this works. Um, we'll go ahead and do it. Within every keep. See, I don't. I'm starting to think that Chaplain is not about bonking. Guard. I, I've kind of learned that, like, I think the best way to play Chaplain is to purely focus on guard and healing, and then the bonk like just happens sometimes. Because the the heal and the stress heal is actually pretty good, but you have to focus on it. You're supposed to miss. Come on. That was a weak you. Weak. This is I should have no just gone for the kill there. Alter. Good thing we resisted the bleed. But. Tap doesn't get to level 3 fast enough time. Yeah, it, it she doesn't. 
I, I think that's really where she suffers. I think a lot of people would agree. Okay, I'm going to move her forward. That puts him into shambling thrust territory. So he does a weak attack. Dodge. Okay. Oh, that's an unfortunate pull. All right. It's what it is. of these things left. Ugh. Uh, toxic waste I have left, though. We can do a toxic waste. I actually have fresh toxic waste candy. I'm uh, fresh toxic waste. You are. Hi. Hi, love. You I look love pretty. You. These are my new shorts. Oh, yeah, they're cute. My butt looks good. Your butt looks very good. Toxic waste. Black cherry. Mm. I don't know. Shelby's doing a hot tub stream in the near future. Another impediment cleared with impunity. Oh. Uh, Ma'am, that stuff sucks. Ugh. All right. confers advantage. Getting a lot of crits, which is nice. Should be a mess. Yeah, that, that fight did some work on us, huh? All right, we're out. I don't need the items that bad. Abandoned or forgotten, it is ours now. All right, we have another fight coming up. Let's check our combat items. We're good, okay. And we're moving on. Last fight of this region. Well, not last fight of this region. The last normal fight of this region. Why visit the Louvre when you can have BB on toxic waste? Absolutely. It's just, it's the pure definition of our artistry. All right. Hastened enemies, so they're all going to go before us. Well, not all of them. The hatchet man decided he wanted to be a bit slow. modifier? Yeah, pretty much, right? Feels like it. I don't really want my occultist up here, but this is too good an opportunity to not. Dead. Dead. Okay. Feel that. A promising development. Oh, we can get front mortared here. Yeah, so opposite of where I want my occultist, but again, nothing we can't deal with. Man. 14 damage, still not enough begins. to kill that little guy. Let's get a heal here. A miscalculation, perhaps. My leper being here, obviously not great, but whatever. We can make this work. Can you just go back there, bud? Thanks. Hey, we actually get a positive tip out of that. How nice. Good resist on the crit there.
Ordained dog, probably. Yeah. Well, we got a crit token, so I'll take it. Easily dispatched. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. All right, we have a cultist fight next. Um, yeah, we need to just not be scared about taking anything, like using our combat items. We should be using them. How are we doing on with one, one mastery point? So, um, what do we ask? We're gonna get two mastery points by the end of this. One of the one of the downsides to act uh, one. I mean, I know you start with more mastery points, so it kind of compensates. But man, I, I really wish that if you were doing the beacon, you had the full the gambit key. of uh, regions available to you. Bless you. Great backdraft. I mean, it's it's honestly like not the most terrible suggestion in the world right now, with how much burn damage we can do with this team. Yeah, there he goes, getting that little pesky stealth and a bit of regen. Love that for us. This is gonna hurt. Oh, we get withstand here. Just again. <laughs> God damn it. Gonna get a worship off. Ugh, I misplayed here. But it's the last one. I think it looks way better than the last one, personally. Our, our burn output has been way strong. This yeah, is that no sucks. Time to falter. It's our first death door check of the entire run, though, so. Well, not even a check. Self reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. God damn, dude. The, the stealth needs to be, like, looked at on that path. On this, this altar, because it's just so. Consistent. If there's only one enemy on the team, it just like it's like oh, stealth. Or as long as it doesn't get worship off, it's fine. Flesh from bone. Go ahead and solemnity again here. Just get our health back up. This road so be right now, road. this occultist is absolutely just. I don't know what he's doing. He ain't playing in the game now. A little help. Act three taunt. Kind. I'm confused. What's the question? Imagine an exemplar of altar buff. I I don't have to. It's been a thing before. Isn't stealing life? Stealing life's uh, isn't life stealing. Yeah. Yeah, at least it doesn't. Yeah, give him healing You could like not hit through the dodge that'd be great. I'd really appreciate it This wound at least has been tended to Taunt on act one, I mean it's not a hundred percent but I, I'd rather the taunt, honestly. I can deal with the taunt. I don't, everybody finds that debuff to be like the most annoying. I find it to not be that annoying. It's always, it, it oh, it's, I guess it's semi-guaranteed. It only picks one person though, right? So it's not the end of the world. I usually just have to shift the way I think and be like, hey, I need to focus down the, the evangelist or the deacon and then work, work my way back instead of going the other way around. Uh, temptation is interesting. All right, we'll, we'll figure it out.
Yeah, but you know it's gonna happen, right? You know when you're getting an altar fight, generally. Bring in some combat items that can help negate the taunt issue. It's really, I don't, I've never really found it that annoying. I find the Act 5 one and the Act 1 uh, debuffs to be more annoying, personally. The Roaring Heart does much for the weary body. Even more, perhaps, for the restless soul. Alright. How does this keep happening? I don't understand. If something keeps dripping oil on my pages here. I don't know what it is. It's weird. Anyway, um, all right. So we're going to go ahead and do a game giveaway. Um, this is something we do at the end of every run. It's for a random Steam key. So... I'll reset this. We're going to go ahead and open a giveaway. So if you'd like a chance to get in for a game giveaway for a random Steam key, now's your chance to get in. Exclamation enter for a chance. And yeah, ooh, get me to pull that up. Anybody's welcome to join. You just have to be following. And that's all that matters. All right. So we're going to the mountain here. There's nothing for it now but to press on. Come what may. The plating is patched. The coach stands ready once more. How are we doing our relationships? Do we need the pig? Hmm. Pig is fine. It's not super helpful. Honestly, we might be able to kind of tweak relationships more manually. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use oddly tuned loot, though. Yeah, everybody with te plus 10% stress resist. But taunt makes it harder. Worship happens way more often in Act 3. It does, but you just, like, the way I think about it is you just generally have to, like, you just have to powerhouse, or you have to have a way to counter the taunt, either with combat actions, or you have to have, like, burst damage that can get rid of a deacon or a cardinal very quickly. Um, yeah, worship, it, it's just something you, as long as you're aware of it, it's really, I don't think it's really that big of an issue. Like, it's very annoying, but I don't think it's, like, the most annoying. Headphones there before? I have. Could it be coming from my headphones? Oh, could it be coming from my greasy ass head? I don't know. Weird. That may be that may be the cause. Um alright. Conventional fare. But fairly priced. So stone resist is gonna be very potent for us. We should probably grab that. I would like my healer to be stunned immune. Or very likely to be stunned immune. I think this is going to be better than... I don't know, extra actions is nice, though. But then we lose all of our DBR. I'm, I'm not going for it. I think we're just going to go... We're just going to give him the extra actions. Dot piercing item any good? Dot piercing item? Which one, Endrex? Depends on the part. I mean, if you're talking about... It's like all locks. Oh, you mean on Bonnie? This one? Or, wait, no, what? I'm confused. What are we talking about? Which one? Second from the left. Oh, the death cap spores? No, death cap spores don't do anything for us here. Uh, clotting powders are okay against the... Uh, uh, the Evangelist, but that's about it. We're not really going to get any bleed. We can get Blight. That's about it. They don't have Death Blow Resist, so this doesn't really help us at all. Looks like other item. I'm really confused what... <laughs> It looks like other item. Linseed oil? Oh, to lower their burn resist? Could be, could be a decent option, but I think... I don't think their burn resist is high enough against Arsonist for me to worry about it. There is an item that is team minus 33% resist all dot. Minus 33. Oh, Toxic Icor? 
Yeah, it looks kind of similar to this, I guess. Um, yeah, it's not that item. <laughs> They're just gaming. I don't think we need it. We have one relationship that's a little low. Everybody else is pretty much okay. These two are somewhat low. But Durgis is only going to potentially ruin relationships more than it's going to help us. <coughs> Bone Saw could be okay, but uh, it's only usable on Leper, right? Five bleed, um, decent amount of damage. It could be it could be a good kind of like starting item for us to just knock out a lock very quickly, depending on which one it is. It's 15 damage uh, plus 12 damage, so it's a good chunk of health, or up to 12 damage, right? It's 12 relics, which is fine. I'll take it. Um, all right. Go on, Bonnie. Yes, no, it should. It, it will. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. Bonnie is the one who needs, uh, needs to have this for the additional duration. Well, ooh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. She doesn't have anything that requires... You know what? I've been having those glimmers on her the whole time because I was like, oh, Tinderbox needs it. We don't have fucking Tinderbox. Dumbo. Dumbo, Dumbo. Though, Glimmer is not a bad thing for us to have um, in the sense that we can get our Torchlight up as high as possible before the final fight. Ugh. Um... Stimulants will be good for the strength, and milk soaked linen is going to be something we probably want as well. We'll kind of see how this all pans out. Um, I'll take these over that for now. And sure, yeah, I want to save those for the final. Here, have that. Yeah, for the duration and the pierce, right? It does land the, it does land burn, right? In fact, I'm going to take this off for now. I don't want to accidentally use it. How goes the Dastard's Beacon? We're on the final fight, so we'll Learn see. What can be taught. All right. But you may stand just a little taller at the end. Really wish we got more mastery points. Probably should have focused more on getting them. Oh well. I'm gonna go with this artillery just to give us some some back row damage when we need it. All right. Let's go to the mountain. Again, we do have the game giveaway going on. Exclamation enter for a chance to get in. in ice. All right, let's see how we go. Nine mastery in the first region today. Very nice. Okay. Dragonfly will give strength. Encore will give minus stress. Abyssal artillery will give minus stress. Cool. Good stuff. Did we eat? Fuck, we didn't. <sighs> Man, oh well. At last, the great cigarette. And three, it's, re it's really hard to remember to do everything when you're also talking to people. <laughs> oh well, that's a lot of additional health we've lost out on. Can't do anything about it now. Going in hungry, yep. Truly hate chat. It's not that I hate chat, it's just I'm doing 400 things at once. <laughs> I get a lot of people who, are like, especially on YouTube, I'll get a huge amount of comments that are like, um, stuff like that, you know. Hey, Cactus, I'm gonna ask you to tone it down on the hate myself comments, alright, bud? We, we all love you here, bud. Whoops, sorry, I deleted the wrong comment. Sorry, Unbiff. Right, probably, yes, exactly. <clears throat> We love you here, bud. All right. Uh, let's do this. We got this. Should be fine. We pulled the Herald. Herald's out of position. We're just going to try to keep... I'm just basically going to keep the Torchlight up as much as I can, because 
Um, we just want to go into the final fight with as much Torchlight as possible. Believe in you, Mr. Streamer. Thank you, Zen. I appreciate it. Six damage for seven turns. I'm good with that. By the way, which lock dies first? So, it kind of depends. We've, I think generally for me, it, it depends on positioning, first of all. Like, what's easiest for us to kill? Because we have a lot of front-loaded damage with this team. So, if something is in the back, we're probably going to be unable to remove it, even if we wanted to. It's dead, so don't worry about it. Um, I, I either want to kill the healing lock first or last. I think that's generally what I found. Um, I either kill it first to just kind of get rid of it so I don't have to worry about it healing up the other locks, or I kill it last so that way, again, I can... The problem with killing it last is that you end up being locked out of healing, right? So if you're going to kill it last, you kind of want to do a lot of damage to it as you're killing other locks and then just, like, knock it out quickly. fight though. So, I mean, that's been my strategy so far. I don't know how well that is going to be translating. Um, we'll see. Bonnie gets these. Yeah, sure. Do we want invigorating intoxicant? Yeah, I'm going to take these. These are going to help us in like the cases where we just end up on death's door. So, we need to check any abilities. Um, he's gonna get locked out no matter what. She's got ranged in melee. He's got ranged in melee. Um, these are all ranged, so we should probably throw on just one melee in case we need to, like, knock out a little bit of damage. Rip Defiant run, I know, right? The Defiant is all gone. They defiantly got rid of it. The Collegianus Cathedral. We'll see. Malign Temple of the Iron Crown. Yeah, I might try to focus down the health lock last, but like chip if I can chip damage into it, I will. Because I want it dead for oh, it's the first lock too. The mind must be we can definitely focus down the melee lock, but again I don't know, man. What do you guys think? What do you think's the right play here? Do we want to do healing lock or do we want to do Um melee lock first? Melee lock will get them additional damage. Here, an exit to the main and you lose the memory slot, right? I believe that's how it works. I think if you win another run, even if they're not on your team, and go back to the altar, that memory slot will still be open. I think so. It's the most annoying, in your opinion. Spam for the win, Pog. Yeah, if we could lock, if we could have locked in a rank two, it would have been great. But alas, we can't. Healing first, IMO. Okay, healing first it is. Let's go for it. Lethality writ large. Why not both? I mean, yeah, we can we can chip away some damage. What is it then? Huh. It it's a crazy ability when it happens. The abyss. Good miss, thank you. Damn, that did 29 damage. Even without the bleed, that was huge. We can probably outpace a lot of the um a lot of the regen anyway, so.
Let's not use that now. Yeah, wasn't gonna throw it. I, I did that. I made that mistake last time too. Where I like used up a, a dot item. It was not the right time to use it. Just get the kill. It has more burn than it does uh, not right now, which is really good. Goodness. A wash in turmoil. Okay. Um This is a fine moment for Restand. The region yeah, it's only three three turns, yes. So it will go away. It, if it did it for the whole fight, that'd be that like that'd be just fucked up. We can. I can't outpace this kind of healing. Not dead yet. No, we're working on it though. Reason that's fine. I just gotta. I just gotta keep healing these guys. More Cody, thank you for the fall. Foolishly seeking fortune and glory in this domain of the damned. A brilliant conclusion. Good dodge. Of a burn too. Uh, I, I can't. There's no way I'm not gonna be able to get one of these guys to. Somebody has to survive a death door check. Uh. Yeah. Occultist probably dies here. He Come on, man. Oh. Fuck this challenge, dude. Solidarity may yet 81 percent compassion quiet failed mind getting to this fight is easy in my opinion it's anything else it's just Surviving the death door checks. I probably misplayed at some point. Obviously, I didn't take a health, you know, or I didn't eat right. So that was probably the difference between life and death. Okay. Very easy to misplay here. But getting hit with like 21 crit and stuff. God, these guys—they just hit like trucks, dude. I can beat the boss just fine on Beacon. It's—it's uh, it's not having a death is the hard part. Plus, where is that 11 damage coming from? My brother. Come on. This is no yeah. time to falter. That's like half their health, honestly. I don't have a I don't have a way of healing. I really don't want to lose anybody here, but I'm likely to at this point. Claim the no food, to be honest, is probably probably the difference between life and death for sure. In that situation. Oh well. I can't fix it, right? So. And 
we're getting denial of reach every time, so my my main damage dealer here is just gonna be toasty. Not my main damage dealer, but we're really we really need her damage to be proking. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. If you can use double cross on ambition, what do you mean? Uh, like the ability? Yeah, you can use double cross. Hey, Darkness has me on. And Zeus. You can use it to remove the block tokens if that's what you're asking. Another blow on the bruise. Oh, oh my god, I... I'm an idiot, by the way. <laughs> Can somebody please always remind me that pass heal is a thing in this video game? Sweat soaked brows, unsteady stance. Thank you, Bate. Exhaustion takes hold. Dead. Yeah. First time Let's losing two heroes on this, though. She can run no further. How many pass heals did I skip there? Because I just forget that that's even a, an option in this video game. Teetering on that terrible precipice. A master stroke. God, that crit token, though. <laughs> Just resolute. Come on, big guy. Oh, well. Ugh. God, that sucks, man. Oh, well. This was a good run, too. Last. One day we'll get it, man. Today is not the day. Remember a time before the cancerous corruption. <laughs> the flame leper survives yet again. The leper is unkillable. Absolutely unkillable. Breacher Leper absolutely carries. He's probably not the right selection at the end of the day, but... This jest was truly defiant in every way besides the quirk. If we'd had defiant, if I hadn't rolled that off, and if we'd eaten the food, hey, you know what? We probably would have survived, or at least come much closer to, to winning that, right? Unfortunately, uh, a fair amount of misplays in that one. Um, no, I can't do another... Uh, I can't do another run today, unfortunately. Uh, do not have the time. Got other stuff going on. So, um, if you guys want to get into the game giveaway, now is your chance to do so. Um, so exclamation enter. Get on in. Um, I will not be live tomorrow, guys. So, uh, this will be the last stream of the week. I will be back again on Tuesday, but I will not be live tomorrow. I'm going to the Grand Canyon tomorrow. So, uh, I won't be here. Sorry. Um, all right. Now, uh, let's go ahead and do this game giveaway. I'm going to close it. We're going to pick a winner. And the winner is Zeus. Zeus, GG. Um, get some get some love in the chat for Zeus. Congrats, man. I'll shoot you a game sometime in the next couple days when I remember to do it. <laughs> uh, so congrats on that. Lucky luck, but Zeus. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, all right, let's go find somebody to raid. I appreciate everybody being here. We will get this eventually. 
My concern is that we're going to get through Act 1 at some point and then again just die immediately to Act 2, right? So that's, uh, that's kind of, wow, that's loud. That's kind of the jarring nature of this challenge. Um, for you to take Jango, do thank the archers. I appreciate it. So let's go find somebody to give some love to. Um, so please get stick around. I would appreciate it. Um, see if anybody else is streaming the game. Uh, no, nope, nobody in English. So let's see who else is on. We can give some love to. How many people on today? Um, pirate software. Yeah, I I, I love pirate software, but I'm not gonna raid pirate software. Um, hey, Billy's on. We'll go raid Billy. I haven't raided Billy in a while. Um, Billy is uh, plays a lot of uh, indie games. Um, that's how uh, Batay met me was through Billy. So, all right, we're gonna go raid Billy. He's playing some uh, Belotro, which is a game I really want to check out actually. So we'll go we'll go say hi to him. Get some love. Thanks for all being here. I appreciate y'all. There's a raid message if you'd like to use it, and I'll catch you all in the next stream. Bye bye.